Video conferencing on the web takes another step forward with PTZ control. Range requests and service workers don't require as many workarounds. The Font Access API starts its origin trial, and there's a whole lot more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 87. Most meeting rooms at Google have cameras with pan, tilt, and zoom capabilities, so the camera can be pointed at the people in the room. But it's not just fancy conference room cameras that support PTZ, pan, tilt, zoom. Many webcams support it too. Starting in Chrome 87, once a user has granted permission, you can now control the PTZ features on a camera. Feature detection is a little bit different from what you're probably used to. You'll need to call Navigator, Media Devices, Get Supported Constraints to see if the browser supports PTZ. Then, like all other powerful APIs, the user will need to grant permission to the camera, but also to the PTZ functionality. To request permission for PTZ functionality, call Navigator, Media Devices, Get User Media with the PTZ constraints. This will prompt the user to grant both regular and camera with PTZ permissions. Finally, a call to media stream track get settings will tell you what the camera supports. Once the user has granted permission, you can call video track apply constraints to adjust the pan, tilt, and zoom on the camera. Francois has a great post on web.dev with code samples, complete details on the best way to request permissions, and a demo so that you can try it out and see if your webcam supports PTZ. Personally, I'm really excited about PTZ so that I can hide my messy kitchen from my coworkers. HTTP range requests, which have been available in major browsers for several years, allow servers to send requested data to the client in chunks. This is especially useful for large media files, where a user experience can be improved through smoother playback, enhanced scrubbing, and better pause and resume functionality. Historically, range requests and service workers didn't work well together, forcing developers to build workarounds. Starting in Chrome 87, passing range requests through to the network from inside a service worker will just work. For an explanation of the issues with range requests and what's changed in 87, see Jeff's article, Handling Range Requests in Service Workers, on web.dev. There's one new origin trial that I want to call out today. Bringing design apps like Figma, Gravit, and Photo.p to the web is great, and we're seeing a lot more coming. While the web has the ability to offer a plethora of fonts, not everything is available on the web. For many designers, there are some fonts installed on their computers that are critical to their work. For example, corporate logo fonts or specialized fonts for CAD and other design applications. With the Font Access API, which starts its origin trial in Chrome 87, a site can now enumerate the installed fonts, giving users access to all of the fonts on their system. And sites can hook in at a lower level to get access to the font bytes, allowing them to do their own open type layout implementations or perform vector filters or transforms on the glyph shapes. Check out Tom's post on web.dev with all the details and links to the origin trial so that you can try it yourself. And of course, there's plenty more. With transferable streams, readable stream, writable stream, and transform stream, Objects can be passed as arguments to post message. We've implemented the most granular flow relative features of the CSS logical properties and values spec, including shorthands and offsets to make these logical properties and values a bit easier to write. For example, a single margin block property can replace separate margin block start and margin block end rules. New font face descriptors have been added to ascend override, descend override, and line gap override to override metrics of the fonts. There are several new text decoration and underline properties, and there are a number of changes related to cross-origin isolation. 
All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the update post linked in the description. Check out the latest Chrome DevTools video, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Pete LePage, and when Chrome 88 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.